Little known fact, there's actually a product on the market called Monkey Chow. It's made by the same people who make Cat Chow and Dog Chow, and for that matter they also make Rabbit Chow, Goat Chow, Elephant Chow, Fish Chow, and Bird Chow, among other things. It's cheap food. Pun not intended. So with that in mind, when I saw this product, I thought it was a joke. I thought this was like Geek Chow, but no, it's actually a real product. And actually, I really shouldn't be surprised, because this isn't the first time that something like this has been marketed directly at the gamer market. I mean, besides, geeks gotta eat too. Let me start with what I stumbled into. One of my gaming buddies joked on her Facebook page that she should be sponsored by Gamer Food. I followed her link and like I said, I thought it was a joke or some kind of a weird art project. You know, kind of like that Gen Pets thing. Seriously, do a search on it. It's creepy. I mean, it's creepy! But this is the real deal. What is it? It's a snack food being marketed to gamers. And at about $3.50 a bag, what makes it so special? It's caffeinated. This stuff is powerful! I mean, heck! If you eat enough of this stuff, you could probably conquer death itself. It would be so good. No, seriously, it's let me let me pull this up on the website over here. This is it's right here. Caffeine, taurine, ginseng, lysine. That's what's in this. Well, much more correctly, what's on this stuff? It looks like it's actually a powdered coating on top of these things. But this isn't the only product that does it. I also found this, which actually came first. This stuff has vitamins added to it, along with a bunch of other things, and again, at three bucks a bag, it's promising to be a performance snack for gamers. Wait, how strenuous can online gaming possibly be that we need to have a performance snack? I mean, outside of the Kinex 360, I really don't see grinding on WoW as being actually physically demanding as much as it is mentally annoying. But I really don't think that's what they're getting at here. What I think they're getting at here is more the idea of energy. Both of these products are sold with the promise of giving energy in one way or another. One through vitamin supplements and the other through caffeine and herbs. But I'm not even going to open that can of worms of things like what taurine and lysine does, let alone if the B vitamins do what the marketing department claims that it does. You can have fun swimming through the mountain of theories yourself if you want to, but I want to focus more on the products. See, these are not alone. In the past, a lot of products have been marketed to, well, geek culture. One of the common threads has been energy, usually in the form of caffeine. Well, I kind of suppose that's one way to make some of these guys bathe. Oh, come on! The one time I go after wounded prey and you're gonna... Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. Actually, that wasn't just a jab at fanboys. Several large companies have courted gamer culture in the past. One of the more memorable campaigns was actually from Mountain Dew. Many people remember Game Fuel and it had a couple callbacks. It was tied into World of Warcraft, Modern Warfare 3, and Halo 3. The WoW tie-in was the most interesting as it had the in-world rewards of a battling robot. Well, that would explain this thing. I never recalled making this, but it seems to follow me all around Storwind sometimes. Uh, well, yeah, you were supposed to go to a website and get fuel sent to you in-world, and you'd fight other robots if they had the opposing color fuel in it. Well, that sounds fairly interesting. So where do I get more fuel? Um, well, they kind of stopped making it, so uh, I don't think you can get it anymore. Hmm, so basically I have an outdated gnomish toy then. Pretty much, yeah. Well, I might be able to take it apart and see what's in there. Where's my screwdriver? Okay, so he's going to be occupied for a while. Well, there's been a lot of other companies who have made specialty products on a small scale, but when Mountain Dew put out Game Fuel for three months, it sent a statement. And don't kid yourself, this stuff is marketed directly at gamers. Some companies are more subtle than others. It's even the same color as the health potions in World of Warcraft. Subtle much, guys? Packaging aside, it's giving gamers what they seem to want. It's all about energy. These curvaceous cashews are packed full of energy to keep you gaming at your peak for hours. Days. Years even. This is going to sound cliche, but the stereotype does come from somewhere. Gamers notoriously drink a metric boatload of stimulants. This stuff, my friends, is the best stuff that was ever invented for us gamers. Uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Juice. I uh, love the name. Let's see if it has the same warning. Product not intended for children. There it is right there. And ooh, 120 milligrams of caffeine. How has YouTube changed my life? Well, I can afford 
a lot more Mountain Dew. We'll take stimulants to stay awake longer and play longer and damn the consequences. And those consequences can be quite bad. Let me say this outright because I know that if I don't, one of you guys will. Triathlete, I am not. What I'm giving you here is not substitute for real medical advice, so if you want real medical advice, talk to a real doctor. <coughs> Doing a little bit of research online gives you more than just a little bit of an inkling of what caffeine can do to your system. A caffeine overdose can be a very dangerous thing. Generally what happens is that people will be drinking several different kinds of beverages that all contain caffeine, and then they'll suddenly realize that they're getting a little shaky, maybe they're getting a little sweaty, and they get scared. And it can kill you. You can definitely overdose with caffeine and it can cause heart palpitations, irregular heartbeat, um, nausea and vomiting, and really cause your heart to stop if in, in big overdose. It's rare, like international newsworthy rare, but it has happened. One man in England died after taking pure caffeine powder he bought off the internet and washing it down with an energy drink. However, it's estimated he took a dosage equal to 70 energy drinks. And again, it's very rare. Now consider that a lot of experts disagree on what counts as an overdose of caffeine. I've seen it as low as 500 milligrams to 700 milligrams. I've even seen one website that said 200 milligrams of caffeine every three to four hours could be considered way over the limit. And also consider that it's not a regulated substance, so it's not required that they put the caffeine content on any given substance that you're ingesting. So really, it's up to us to do the research and find out how much caffeine we're taking on a day-to-day -day basis. And when you've got a smaller container, that's even more deceiving because you think, well, it's a small container. How much caffeine could it hold? Well, how about this little bottle I showed you at the beginning of the show? 160 milligrams of caffeine. Which is the same amount of caffeine that you're going to find in this very energy drink. And just for the record, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. But I'm getting way far off the main topic. Mainly, why? Well, let's go back to Mountain Dew. They're a multi-billion dollar corporation. Why would they want to associate their extreme soda brand with the best and worst of gaming culture? Well, money, obviously. Look, even if you only buy one AAA title a month, you're still spending quite a bit of money every year. And when you consider that companies like CCP and Blizzard have how many millions of gamers paying monthly subscriptions? Yeah, why not pander to that market? And it is pandering. The ads really feed into what gaming culture seems to want. Drink our product, game longer, loot more gear, question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. Shut up and take my money! It also feeds into a desire that everyone has for an instant skill booster. You know, eat this or drink this and you become instantly better at what you do. Let's bring this full circle. Gamer Food has a guarantee on the website that it will boost your gaming performance. When you couple this with buzzwords like, you know, performance and energy, you start creating sales. But the real question, does it actually work? Does it make you game better? Well, caffeine has been proven to be a stimulant. It provides a sense of alertness to your brain and it affects your central nervous system and elevates your mood. It increases blood flow, shortens your reaction time and makes you feel more alert. So sure, it can help in moderation. I really don't want to end this on a preachy note, but I will give you one good piece of advice. If you're getting tired while you're gaming, the best thing that you can do, the best energy booster you can get is to get up and move around. Okay, I'm not exactly the poster child of health and fitness over here, but they've done studies and they've proven that if you even just take 10 minutes, get up and start walking around, walk around the block, walk around the house, whatever, it will give you a much better energy boost than any one of these could ever possibly give you. But if you are going to be relying on one of these things to give you power through that LAN party, moderation. That's all I'm going to recommend. Now let's say you are hell-bent to just level through the entire weekend and just power your way through an MMO. Well, live by old con rules, which is 621. Six hours of sleep, two meals a day, one shower a day. You can survive on that. Now let's say you don't want to get up and actually go someplace and get food. Well, you could always brown bag it. What? It's still better than McDonald's.
This is the unscripted part of the show because this is the part that I really haven't planned too much for. Um, if you've been watching the paintball stuff, you know that I've been ingesting some horrible things for the amusement of others. <sighs> Might as well try it. It kind of has a little apple kind of smell to it after you get through the feet smell, but uh, don't taste, just drink. Got it. Mmm. Ah. 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 Whew. Ah. How do I describe that? Ah. It's like, huh, it's like a... Ah. I got nothing to... There's no sweetness to it. It's like bitter, sour apple. Oh, my eyes are watering over here. Not quite cough syrup, but... Wow, oh, it's cousin, though. And people drink this all the time? Are you serious? Yeah. I need to go get some water. Seriously, ah. Oh.